Today, joining us from Eisenhower Health is Jamie Bayless, and you're going to be giving a lecture tomorrow, correct? Yes. At the Mizell Center talking yes. about respiratory issues and understanding COPD, yes. which continues even though smoking has gone down a lot. COPD can arise from other causes as well, and it remains a big issue. Yes, it does. So we will be giving a COPD lecture um, at the Mizell Center tomorrow. We will be going over the disease process of COPD, different medications, um, how to take your medications at home, such as respiratory inhalers, the different devices you can use um, at home that can be provided by the hosp by your hospital stay or by your primary doctor or pulmonologist, such as an incentive spirometer. We have flutter devices. We have um, spacers that you can use for your inhalers um, to help you get better deposition of the medication into your lungs. So we go over all of that and we also go over different techniques you can use at home to make uh, your comfort of living at home a little bit easier with COPD, such as purslip breathing when you do get short of breath. Okay, and what is that? Uh, the purslip pers breathing. breathing. So it's a technique we use where you breathe in nice and slow through your nose and then you exhale through your mouth through pursed lips. Oh, through pursed lips, there we go. Nice and slow, so it's like you're blowing out a candle. Gotcha. Um, but you wanna make sure that your exhalation is longer than your inhalation to create a back pressure in your lungs to pop open those airways so you're able to get all of that air out. Uh, just in casual watching of television, mm -hmm. there are a lot of ads now for newer medications mm -hmm. to purport to help with COPD. Mm -hmm. Have we seen a rise in the efficacy of, of treatment now? Um, yes, so there are many different medications out there. Every, all medications, uh, every, every medication is patient dependent. Um, so everybody reacts differently to different medications. Just because one medication works for one patient doesn't mean it's gonna work for another, but it doesn't mean that it's not a good medication. Um, everybody responds differently. They have um, different processes of COPD that they might have to use the medication for, whether it's they need a steroid or a long-acting bronchodilator or something to help with um, secretions in their lungs. So there's a lot of different medications. So we go over all of those different types of medications. We have sample inhalers that we show to everybody how to use them, the appropriate technique to use them. Very important presentation, and you could attend. It is at the Mizell Center, and it's coming up tomorrow at noon. And so you can go see Jamie. And if you struggle with COPD or other breathing issues, uh, they have all of the information you need to get yourself back on track, and they have great new treatments available. Yep. So thank you for coming on. Thank you.